Hello everyone. In this uh, video, we continue our uh, discussion of the second application of the derivative uh, with word problems. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, example three on page uh, 28 of the uh, note packet I distributed in class. Uh, if you purchase the note packet in the bookstore, I believe it's uh, page 29. In the first, in the last video, in the uh, two examples we did, uh, we just talked about instantaneous rate of change. In this uh, example, example three, we're going to be talking about both instantaneous rate of change and average rate of change. So I want to uh, highlight what the difference is be between those two uh, before we work example three. On the board here, uh, I have uh, the graph of an arbitrary function. Okay y equals f of x. Remember function values and y values are the same. And uh, we know uh, in our discussion of the derivative, uh, f prime of x, that tells us uh, how fast the, ver uh, the variable y is changing as the variable x changes at a point. Okay? So here I have a point highlighted. Uh, f prime of x at that point tells us how fast the variable y is changing at that point as x changes. Uh, in this, in, in example three, we're also going to be talking about uh, average rate of change. An average rate of change tells us uh, how fast the variable y changes on average as x changes over an interval. So we're no longer talking about just a point we're talking about over an interval uh, for the variable x. So on the graph of my curve here, I have uh, drawn two points, plotted two points, and if I draw a straight line through those two points, I draw what is called a secant line. of that secant line is equal to uh, the average rate of change right, of the variable y over the interval from x equals a to x equals b in this case. So to calculate how, how fast uh, the var variable y changes on average as x changes from uh, a to b in this case, right, we just calculate the slope of the secant line which is rise over run. Okay. So the value of the function here at x equals a is f of a. The value of the function here at x equals b is f of b. And given those two points, we can calculate the slope of the secant line, which is just rise over run. So f of b minus f of a is the change in the y coordinates, and b minus a is the change in the x coordinates. And so uh, the slope of that secant line tells us, right, the average rate of change, which is how fast the variable y changes on average as x changes uh, over this interval from a to b, okay? So it's an important concept in the next example that we're going to be working. So in example three, you're given the number of people who shop Cyber Monday online grows as the number of internet users grow. This growth is expected to be given by this function, p of x equal to 38 times x to the 0 0.21 power, where x is measured in years. So we're using the variable x um, for time in this example, and x equals zero corresponds to the beginning of 2005. Okay. Now, um, p 
of x in this case is actually a percentage. Okay? So p of x tells us the percentage of internet users who shop online on Cyber Monday. And Cyber Monday, you may know, is the Monday after Thanksgiving. That's supposed to be the biggest uh, shopping day on, online of the year. Black Friday, right, is supposed to be the biggest shopping day of the year in stores, right, the day after, day after Thanksgiving. So you're asked in Part A, how many online buyers as a percentage of internet users were there in the beginning of 2012? Well, again, let me draw my little table over here. X is, right, what value of X corresponds to year 2012? Well, we know X equals zero corresponds to the year 2005. So if I add seven to both sides, to both columns, I get X equals seven corresponds to the year 2012. So to find the percentage uh, of internet users okay, that are online buyers on Cyber Monday, I plug in seven in for X and P of X, and we have P of seven is equal to uh, 38 times X, or excuse me, 30, P of seven is equal to 38 times seven raised to the 0 0.21 power. Okay. So this is 38 times seven raised to the 0 0.21 power, right? I just plug in seven for X into the function. Well, order of operations, exponentiation before multiplication. So this is 38 times, and seven to the 0 0.21 power is equal to one 0.504772 the three uh, six decimal places. Again, when I'm doing these problems, I'm not writing down this number. I just leave it in my calculator's display. Uh, but I want you to understand how I got the answer. And now when I multiply those two numbers together, I get 57.18%. Answer is as a percentage. Okay, so 57.18 percent of internet users, okay, at the beginning of 2012 were online uh, shoppers on, on Cyber Monday. Okay? In part B, you're asked what was the average rate of change in the number of online buyers as a percent of internet users between 2005 and 2012. So this, to calculate the average rate of change from 2005 to 2012, right, we got to do rise over run. And so we need uh, two values of the function in order to do that. Well, we, we have the value of the function for 2012, we need the value of the function for 2005. And so what is, um, and we're given, right, that x equals zero for 2005. And so let's calculate, I'm gonna do it above, because I wanna save the space uh, for my answer. Uh, P of zero, right, is how many, um, what percent of online buyer, or what percent of internet users were online buyers on Cyber Monday in 2005? But so if I put in zero and for X up here, I have 38 times zero raised to 0 0.21 power. Well, zero raised to any power besides zero is equal to what? It's equal to zero. So this is 38 times zero which is equal to zero. Okay. So, at the beginning of 2005, right, zero percent of internet users uh, were online buyers on Cyber Monday, okay?
So to calculate the average rate of change in the percent of internet users who were online buyers from 2005 to 2012, right? We have to cal uh, calculate the uh, use the average rate of change formula, which is rise over run. So the average rate of change. from 2005-2012 is P of 7 minus P of 0 all over 7 minus 0. 0 was the first year, 7 was the last year. In year 0, 0% 0 were online buyers. In year 7, 57.18% were online buyers. So when we plug in to the numerator, P of seven is 57.18, P of zero is zero, and seven minus zero in the denominator, you know, is just seven. And so 57.18 divided by seven is equal to 8.17%. Per year. So on average, okay, the number of online buyers as a percent of internet users grew at the rate of 8.17% per year. Now, it didn't grow that amount each year exactly. Some years it grew more than this, and some years it grew less than this. But on average, okay, um, the percent of internet users that became uh, online buyers grew by 8.17%. Okay, so that's average rate of change. And it's like an average velocity, okay? If you drive 100 miles in two hours, then your velocity on average was 50 miles per hour. So it's like an average velocity. In C, let me scroll C up. C, you're asked to find how fast was the number of online buyers as a percent of internet users changing at the begin at the beginning of 2012. So this is a throwback um, to problems one and two. It's asking how fast was something changing at the beginning of 2012. So this is going to require the derivative because we're talking about instantaneous rate of change at the beginning of 2012. Okay, so it's like an instantaneous velocity. Well, P of X, I'm going to write it up here, is equal to 38 times X the 0 0.21 power. So to find that instantaneous rate of change, we've got to differentiate P of X. And again, 38 is a multiplicative constant, and this is a power function, right? X to the 0.21 is a power function, and we know how to differentiate power function. We bring the exponent down in front of the X, subtract 1 from the exponent. And so we have 38 times 0 0.21 times x to the minus 0 0.79 power. And again, I'm using parentheses here to indicate the multiplication, okay? Because I don't want to confuse decimal places with multiplication symbols. And 38 times 0 0.21 
is equal to 7.98. So this is equal to 7.98 times x to the minus 0 0.79 power. Now to find how fast the number of online buyers as the percentage of internet users was changing at the beginning of 2012, we plug in 7 for x into the derivative. So P prime of seven is equal to 7.98 times uh, seven raised to the, actually I'm gonna put the parentheses around 7.98, I think that might make more sense. 7.98 times seven to the minus 0 0.79 power. Now you got to follow order of operations, right? Exponentiation before multiplication. So we have 7.98 times 7, using your calculator, 7 raised to the minus 0 0.79 power is 0 0.214 967. Six decimal places. And now when I multiply those two numbers, I get 1.72. 1.72 what? 1.72% per year. Remember, whenever you ask how fast something is changing, it is like a velocity. Something for something, okay? Like miles per hour. And so, how fast was the number of online buyers as a percent of internet users changing at the beginning of 2012? It was increasing, this is positive, it was increasing at the rate of 1.72% per year, okay? And we're done. So we calculated the average rate of change from 2005 to 2012 in part B, and we calculated the instantaneous rate of change uh, in part C at the beginning of 2012, okay? So that's kind of the difference between average rate of change and instantaneous rate of change. Uh, example four I, is similar Right, the, the idea in example four is similar to that in example three. I will uh, post my answers to example four on, on Moodle, okay? If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to email me or come see me during my office hours, okay?